everyone. This is Kayla Delzer from Top Dog Teaching and I am in my new classroom right now and I cannot wait to share it with you. Um, as you hop on, will you just say hi and tell me if you're a teacher and where you teach from or teach at. Thank you so much all of you that are joining. Um, so the reason I'm on here actually right now is I was invited by AJ Giuliani um, he has an innovation master course going on right now, and the people who are in his course um, are looking for a tour of my classroom. So this is especially for them, but really anybody who is watching. So as you hop on, hey, say hello to me and let me know that you're here. And if you're a teacher, let me know where you teach. Awesome. Oh, hey, teeny tiny primary gal. Hey, Ada. Hello. Hi, Meg. Meg, you're from Minnesota, where do you teach? Awesome. So I guess the reason I'm on right now is I'm gonna give a, just a short tour of my classroom. So this week in AJ's course, it's all about classroom design. So he asked me to just do sort of a tour for you. So it's by no means like perfect. This is our first week of school. So we've been in this classroom for four days now so we're finding out what works and what doesn't work and I'm sure it will change a lot and not everything is set up and as you know it's a brand new school so actually we moved in um, last week so it's not completely done but what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna actually turn the camera around so that you can sort of see what I'm talking about while I talk and I'm just gonna kind of explain the different areas of my room and why I designed it the way that I did so I'm gonna try to flip it around and for the record, this is only my second ever live. This is not usually what I like to do. So I'm stepping out of my comfort zone for you guys today. I'm gonna start with um, my teacher area, which is not very big actually. I've got my, kind of my corner and I will have a guided reading table there, kind of like a C-shaped table this year, but for now it hasn't come. So I'm using, I think it's called a galaxy table. I have crate seat options and then my brother actually picked up these cool stools for me at a garage sale this summer, so I have those as well. Um, along the top over here, you can see we just have one anchor chart so far, just about morning routine, but the clothesline actually stretches all the way across, and it will actually have all of our daily five charts and things like that as well, so that's kind of where those are. We've got lots of natural light. When I open those windows, it is super bright in here, which is nice. That bookshelf right there actually has all of our math manipulatives, which are nice and handy next to my guided reading table because that's also where I do my guided math. As you hop on, there's a lot of you joining. Just go ahead and say hey to everyone and then say where um, you teach if you are a teacher. So this, t this table right here is actually a standing table and the, the chairs are actually new this year. The stools are actually new. I didn't have them last year and I'm finding that some kids prefer to stand and some kids like to sit on those stools at that chair. So that's sort of an option for them um, and they get to kind of choose either of those. We're also still in our sort of exploratory phase right now of flexible seating. So um, what that means is kids have not completely found where they work best yet we're still trying out all of the different options and they try those options for a day so sort of what you're looking at right now is our classroom library oh i'm thinking of you guys in houston thinking of you in houston um hoping that everything is getting cleaned up and that you are safe um sending lots of love and prayers to you um, okay, so this is our classroom library. So we've got a Nugget couch, and I saw that Nugget is watching right now. And we love our Nugget, it is awesome. Actually, the pillows move, which is really nice. So lots of kids, this is a popular spot for Read to Self. And then you've got our classroom library and their book bins on the bottom, um, our dream letters. This bookshelf is actually sort of a ladder shelf. This came from our friends at Amazon.com. They sent us actually two of them um, this summer and we love them. So there's that bookshelf. And hey, Kayla, I'm doing my second ever live, I know. <laughs> and this is a, just a um, Big Joe bean bag chair. We like these bean bag chairs because they are not uh, made of cloth. They're actually really easy to wipe off. And then we've just got another lamp with a table. 
um, a bulletin board. We've got some of our self portraits hanging as well. We just added those today. On the bottom here, I wanna point out um, our rugs. I actually teach my kids how to roll those rugs up and put them in there. And right next to their rugs are clipboards. And then there's a, a bucket of pillows. And this will serve sort of as our writing center um, later on this school year. I'm gonna just sort of back up so you can see this table. This is sort of our table for our movers and our shakers. Um, so I've got two different rockers. I really do like these rockers because they go back to a certain point and then they stop, as well as three ball chairs. And I found that the ball chairs are not always full, but I have a couple of kids who have really enjoyed those so far this year. Um, over here is just our bucket filler station where kids write bucket filler notes to each other. And then I love this area. It, it's um, two different boomerang tables actually put together. They're super lightweight. And then two of those stools. No, I am not a special ed teacher. I am a um, inclusive third grade teacher. Up on the wall, this will be, you can see there's a little sign that says a top dog photo is coming soon. That is, I think they're eight by 10 frames and I'll have photographs of each of my kids um, with leadership traits writing are uh, written right on them and those will be posted within those frames um, this next year. So we will be taking those photos actually tomorrow. And then I've got my tech tubs and then another popular area of our classroom is um, these different cushions. So we have core discs that are actually weighted. Oh, thank you. We have core discs that are actually weighted and I like those because they um, are great for putting on top of kids' laps if they need a little bit of um, weight for kids who have some sensory needs, or they can sit on, on top of them. And then I have cushions that have air as well. Um, I'll take you to a sort of, this is kind of like a cool entryway of my classroom. So that chalkboard I made three years ago now, it says, come as you are, do the best that you can. We're all family here, so no seating plan. And that's their mailboxes. And then this is where they kind of keep their, this is where they keep their stuff that they would usually keep in their desk. So this is where they keep their notebooks, folders, um, textbooks, things like that. So that's towards the front of the room. And then I've just got another seating area too. Um, I've got a stool and then a crate seat over there. We created our word wall cards today. So we'll be adding words to our word wall starting tomorrow. Our schedule is posted. You can tell we've been doing read to self today. And then I'm just gonna kind of show the front of the room has a stage and that's really simple to make. It's honestly just a um, table that you take the leg extensions off and then I just Velcroed two curtain, um, two short curtains around it and that makes the skirt. So I'm gonna do just sort of one more um, panel of the classroom so that you can kind of see all the options again one more time. Thank you for your comments and for hanging with me this whole time. I appreciate it. There's their art in the back. Um, that board that says hooray won't always say hooray. Um, oh, thank you guys. They love the new space. They love it. Um, not my whole school has this furniture. Um, I think almost every single classroom is sort of adopting this flexible seating and has tables like this. Um, not all of them though. Um, so this, this bulletin board that says hooray, it has photo booth props in front of it. That was just for this first week of school. 